Right, thank you. So uh, quickly on with our uh, next presentation, uh, and we have Omar Rahim, uh, who's going to tell us, obviously, about energy mining. Great, thanks very much. Good, uh, good evening, everyone. Hope you can all hear me. So, uh, yeah, as Paul said, I'm Omar Rahim, CEO and co-founder of a company called Energy Mine. Uh, our project uh, and our token is called Energy Token, so I'm going to speak to you for just for a few minutes uh, about our project, what we've achieved, uh, and what we're looking to build. So, as you all probably guessed, uh, we're in the energy space. First thing I pointing out, yes, we have spelled energy with an I. That's not because it sounds all techy and cool. It's because someone took the Y domain and <laughs> wouldn't sell it to us. So uh, that's why we're energy. Um, so just kicking straight off, really. So we're, I suppose we're a little bit different uh, in some ways that uh, we're an underlying business. So we already have an underlying AI energy business. So what we do, uh, a brief bit of background, really. My background is as a power and gas trader uh, here in London, in, uh, in Germany, and, and in Dublin as well. So I traded power and gas uh, for, uh, for about 10 years, uh, set up my own commodity brokerage, uh, again trading electricity and gas on behalf of corporate clients. Uh, sold that actually yesterday uh, and built that up for five years um, and set up Energy Mine in January. So what Energy Mine does at the moment or has been doing since January, uh, we do the same thing. So we do energy trading, uh, but we use AI to do that. So uh, our bots do all the trading and, ma and management of the energy. So uh, we're based in Manchester, uh, we're a team of about uh, 12 of us. So uh, as a guide for you, we've got uh, our, our team uh, comes from sort of that sort of experience. So about half the team is from the energy sector. Uh, the other half of the team uh, is from the tech sector. So our CTO, unfortunately, couldn't be here today, um, is an ex-Google cybersecurity expert. Uh, and we have uh, staff from uh, ex-Nokia, Microsoft, and then obviously the, the energy companies that you may not recognize there. So what have we done to date? Um, so we've booked uh, half a million dollars in revenue since the end of Jan. Uh, this is uh, corporates paying us fees to use our platform. Uh, we manage around $140 million worth of energy uh, throughout Europe. Uh, and we have about 1,100 uh, sites using our system in, in five countries. So that's a bit about what we do now. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about uh, the token project. So the overall aim of Energy Token is to reduce global energy demand. So that's, in a nutshell, what we're trying to do. Um, the energy markets themselves, the traded energy markets, are a $2 trillion market. And, and the way that the industry works now is that it's naturally incentivized for energy companies to sell you as much energy as possible at the highest possible price. You know, that, that's the business model. Um, and in all markets that you go into, the energy markets are dominated by a small number uh, of really large players. So what we're trying to do is change that. Uh, and there's no real, the problem that, that we have is that there's no real incentive to use less energy. You know, many of you will you know, be quite energy conscious. Others will maybe agree that lose, using less energy is a good thing, but you haven't really got the incentive to do anything about it. So, um, so what the token does, uh, the token is a reward scheme to reward energy efficient behavior. So you can earn the token uh, by engaging in energy saving behavior. So examples of that could be taking low carbon transport to work uh, or, or buying energy efficient appliances. So the idea is, is you have uh, uh, partners who are incentivized in, in helping you save energy. So manufacturers of electrical appliances and transport authorities that would award you token for energy efficient behavior. So you've now got all these energy tokens. Uh, uh, what can you do with them? So we're, we, we have an account uh, per person. So you have an, an energy token balance uh, that you will store. And you can redeem them in, an, in a number of ways. So one of the things you can do with the token is you can part pay your energy bill uh, with the token. You can charge your electric vehicle. Um, and we, you can obviously simply cash them out on a, on a, on a token exchange. So just, just by a brief show of hands, who's, who's sort of bought and sold tokens before? Okay, great. So, so probably three quarters of you. So uh, some, some users of the system will choose just to be financially rewarded by, uh, by selling the token. And, you know, at the start of any movement, trying to influence human behavior is really difficult. So, you know, we could have taken the approach of saying, we're going to lecture you on why it's bad to waste energy. But rather than doing that, we say, OK, well, at the start of that movement, you need to financially incentivize people. The end point that we're trying to get to is the same. We want people to use less energy. And at the start, we're going to financially incentivize them to do that. 
the, the way I always think about it is like smoking. So you go back 20 years, people used to smoke in buildings like this, on planes and everything. And then it became more and more sort of unfashionable to do that and then eventually illegal. The same thing will happen to energy. Wasting energy will become taboo and unfashionable, but we're not there yet. So at the start, uh, this, this is what we're using the token for. I won't go through all the, all the user cases, which is available on our website, energytoken.com, but there are various user cases, but I do want to speak to you about some of the key um, uh, user cases for the token. So we've already talked about how you can pay energy bills and, and, and charge electric vehicles, so I'll pick up on a couple of those. So you have the token. First, one of the biggest questions we get asked is how can I earn the token? How do you know that I'm taking low carbon transport? What we don't want to do, we're not looking to reinvent the wheel. If there are good data feeds, good APIs out there that we can plug our AI into, for example, Google Maps, bike sharing schemes, satellite navigations, who people have already developed um, technology that stops you cheating. So your Fitbit knows when you're cheating, when you're in a car, Google Map knows what, what sort of transport, transport you're in. So we can work with existing technologies in that, in that aspect. Um, one of the interesting things is obviously electric vehicles. So the government wants to ban all non-electric cars by 2040, the sale of them. So the problem we have is that there's not enough charging points. And with, like anything, with, with, with a new commodity, there are multiple schemes. Um, so what we've done, we've done a deal which we're launching in, on the 7th of November uh, with an electric truck company to develop the world's first uh, crypto payment system uh, for electric vehicle charging. Uh, so we'll uh, announce that on, on November the 7th. So a little bit about our partnership. So what have we done to date? Is, is this all theoretical? Uh, no, uh, we've already put various uh, uh, partnerships in place. Um, so the electric truck project I spoke to you about, we're also running schemes with corporates who have thousands of uh, employees that want to track the energy efficiency of those, uh, of those employees. Uh, a little bit about our team as well. Uh, so our team may be known to some of you, maybe not all of you. Uh, our lead advisors are Eddie Travia uh, um, and, and Yassine Sarai, some of the best known investors in this space. Uh, and uh, sort of the one name I suppose that stands out is, is Lord Reedsdale. And, and, and Lord Reedsdale, as, as I know at least some of you know, uh, is an ex-energy spokesman. And he's not just there as a face to put on the website. He is the chief executive of the Energy Managers Association, a group that represents big corporates, uh, energy spend to the tune of about six billion pounds in the UK, uh, and is heavily involved with the energy regulation sector. So, you know, we, we, get, we get crypto, we get blockchain, you know, we, we want to decentralize, we want to take the power away from big corporates, yes. But, you know, we're very pragmatic. At the start, you need to work with the regulators, you need to work with the big energy companies, um, and, and having, having Lord Reesdale on the team really opens the door for us in that respect. So, just to... Uh, Finish off the last, uh, last, last couple of slides, really. What have we done to date? Uh, Self-explanatory, really, sort of uh, the first bit is what we've already achieved. Uh, and our development roadmap, which is outlined, of course, in our, in our white paper on our website, uh, is available for you to read. So um, the, the three principal platforms that we're developing uh, in, in 2018 are the reward platform that we've talked about, um, a peer-to-peer -peer platform, which we've actually already got customers trialing. So this is customers who have generation and have energy storage. At the moment, you've got a crazy situation where there's two of you and two of you are neighbors. One of you's got uh, solar panels and a battery and the next one hasn't got any generation. At the moment, what's happening is the person with excess generation is selling them to an energy company. And then that energy company is taking that same energy and then putting a margin on it and selling it back to your neighbor. So it's, it, it's, a, it's a, amazingly inefficient process. What the peer-to-peer -peer, uh, platform is doing is allowing trading between those two parties. And the third, uh, and, and, and some say the most exciting, is uh, the battery storage project. So we're allowing, so just as we saw a boom in solar over the last 10 years, we will see a boom in personal energy storage devices. And our scheme, uh, again, we've already built uh, most of the tech and we've already trialed it uh, on simulator data, not real data, um, to allow battery uh, trading. So to turn people's energy storage, so if you've got a Tesla Powerwall or a battery in your house, you can turn that into a, a profit center. So our AI will tell you the best time to charge and discharge your battery so you can earn money from, from your energy storage device. So all of that to give you an idea of what, what we're up to timeline wise. So we, are, we announced this, we've obviously been working on this since January. We've taken our time uh, with our ICO. Uh, we are doing an ICO uh, in, in November. So we open our pre-sale in two weeks. 
uh, and we're going to run that from throughout November, December and uh, closing in January. So thank you all for, for listening. I'm, I'm around for any questions that you may have later on. Sorry? Yes, yeah, yeah. Let's do that, yeah. Thank you. So um, open, open to the floor for questions. Uh, Omar, if you don't mind repeating the questions so that we get them all. Great. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Max. So, yeah. In terms of, uh, so you, you asked the question about how we're going to store the energy itself, or so we're so we're we're not. This is not a hardware play at all. So we will not get involved in buying batteries, financing batteries, building batteries. So there's there's enough people with much deeper pockets than we have, putting billions into this area. So what we will do is we will work with people who've already got batteries installed, to connect those batteries up using our software and allow trading between those assets using uh, using the token so to access the trading exchange you need to buy energy tokens so if you've got an energy storage device you want to you want to monetize that device you need to buy energy tokens and the tokens will constantly circulate in the system absolutely you do you, absolutely yeah, yeah. The, 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 the so, there's so many charges on an energy bill that you can't avoid because you're using the distribution, the transmission network, the grid. So all that will be incorporated within the system. So you can't, this is not saying that I can trade with my neighbour and I can pay none of the distribution charges. What it's saying is that we can, we can now monetize our asset and do it uh, more efficiently and manage it more efficiently. So things like real-time billing, stopping the amount of queries for, you know, with your energy supplier and making the process slightly cheaper. But th what this won't be is as simple as some people in this space present where we don't need energy companies anymore because we're all going to be trading with each other. So you're still going to have to pay the fees to the providers as well. Yeah, absolutely. So you improve your cost by having like... The exactly, yeah. There's, there's certain cost government uh, levies and charges for infrastructure that you can't avoid. Yeah, no, so you'll, you'll store them in your wallet. So you will have, uh, you will have an app. So like, like many of these things, the blockchain and all the technology in the background, uh, we want it to be as frictionless as possible for the user. So all LC is an app. It will be blockchain based, but you'll, you'll have your digital wallet as many of you will have anyway with your own private key. So we won't hold that data. So you'll be able to do with the token so uh, what you your wish. app and wallet will be combined? Yes, yeah, exactly, on the phone, yeah. Yeah. Uh, from a tokenomics perspective, in terms of, because I understand, like if you're if you own tokens for being energy efficient and stuff like that. Yeah. Now, what, what what's stopping these like like big corporates coming together and sure. like uh, let's say they're mass focused, obviously because they're, yeah. they're working in scale, which is quite larger than your average household there. Yes. Um, or what, what would stop them from having like a, a board of tokens to the point where they can disrupt the market because they've become a per se whale because of the, yeah. the sheer amount yeah. of resources they're pumping out? Yeah, no, it's a really good question. So the way that corporates will... Sorry, uh, that's a good point. So the question was asked about what's to stop big corporates hoarding uh, tokens. So the, the involvement that corporates will have in this space generally is that they will be partners of the scheme and often they'll be the one administering the scheme. So we're speaking to a lot of corporates now, in fact, one that's already gone to trial, where the corporates almost sit on the other side of the deal. So they will, uh, the corporates that we're working with now are interested in running their own reward schemes on our infrastructure. So for example, one of the uh, retailers that we're working with, 6,000 employees, they want to know the energy footprint, on an opt-in basis, the energy footprint of all of their uh, employees that want to participate so that they can reward them with tokens. It's very difficult to get corporates to, you know, if we're dealing with the FTSE 100s, Fortune 500s, which generally are customers, they're not typically token buyers. They don't have the, uh, the corporate sort of infrastructure and the financial uh, infrastructure to be able to participate, but they do have the ability to incentivize uh, with the token. Okay. One more question. Sorry. <clears throat> with your token sale, we're realizing value by the success of you selling your platform to corporates. Yes. Is that um, so so the, the, there are a number of B2B applications as well as B2C applications. So corporates uh, will need to pay to use our infrastructure. 
and run their reward scheme. So for example, you know, Transport for London, transport authorities or manufacturers would buy the tokens uh, to give those tokens out um, to make customers stickier and so on and so forth. But uh, in terms of where the consumer comes in, uh, it's earning them from, from those companies or using them to charge, charge vehicles, pay energy bills, uh, and ultimately, with a lot of these technologies, they start off in B2B world, so energy storage schemes will need our token to access the exchange, but as that trickles down to consumers, so people having batteries in their homes, so you'll need to pay tokens uh, on a consumer level as well. Great. Well, thank you. Thank you very much, Omar. Thank you.